For this design, I'll be showing you guys how to make it both ways with your Lumen without. Hello guys, this is Catherine from Oh My God, Queen Kitty Cat. And today I'll be showing you guys how to make this single chain bracelet. For this bracelet, you will be needing bands. You won't be needing this many, but just bands. And you'll be needing one C clip, one main balloon, and one hook. I'll be showing you how to make this single chain bracelet with the loom and without the loom. So let's begin. To begin, make sure that your ear is pointing away from you. You want to get your first color, which I'll be using yellow, and start from this peg. You want to go to the side, just like that. Then you, I'm using all yellow for this, by the way. Then you want to go from this peg where you just ended on. You're going to go to this side, just like that. And from this peg, we're going to go this side. You can also go in a shape line, but I prefer this way. And from this peg, where we just ended, I'm going to go here. We just ended right here. So I'm going to go over here. This is where we just ended on. So we're going to go here to the upper peg. We just ended right here. So from this peg, we're going to go up right here. Okay, so since we just ended right there, I guess. Um, we're going to start from this peg. I'm going to go that way. Since you just ended in that peg, I'm gonna go over here. So basically, we're just gonna go on a zigzag bracelet, bracelet, um, zigzag pattern. So this peg over here, over this peg over here, this peg I'm gonna go over here, on this peg we're gonna start over here. This this peg. So basically, we are using all the pegs. Well, except for that one. Because we will be ending right here. Just like that. So right now, I am at the very bottom of my loom. And now we're going to place a cap in. Now you want to take your hook. Focus. Okay. Wrap it around twice, making three loops. So one, two. See, there's three loops. Make sure there's three. I'm going to place it right here. There's more ways to do this, but this is the simplest way that I can show you for beginners. Just like that. Now we will be turning our loom around. The, now the arrow should be pointing at you now. Let's start the hooking process. You want to go through all of your bands. Just like that. You want to grab the very bottom one and hook it to this peg. Do the same thing, you want to go through all the bands and grab the very bottom one and hooking it to this peg. And then we're going to zigzag position. So we want to go through all your bands, grab the bottom one to this peg and just, I guess, keep on looping. Make sure that you're grabbing the very bottom one all the bands grabbing the bottom one hooking it this way and the yellow is really hard to see in my camera because I'm looking at my camera right now so it's kind of hard but just know that you're grabbing the bottom band and we will be hooking in a zigzag position So finishing off my few last ones, which is simple. 
<clears throat> so this is where I ended on at the arrow where it's pointing down. We're gonna make a slip knot. So you're gonna pull the bottom big end, which is this one, over the top in this one pair. You're gonna give it a tug. And we're gonna take this off of our loom. And I don't honestly um, like making the single chain on our rainbow loom, but it's okay if you want to because it always curls up a little bit just like that but it's still pretty cool but to make it really nice you want to stretch it out to give it its natural shape so just give it a really big stretch so it's kind of forming now which is the good part so if yours do curl up to stretch it out so it's stretched out now i'm gonna show you guys how to do it without the loom okay so welcome back if you're still watching this and you want to know how to do that single chain without the rainbow loom i just want to say that after you didn't make sure you add the c clip actually i forgot to record it and while making it and just saying so this is a little bit different and fun too so let's start and you will be only, only be needing bands, a hook, and one C clip. So let's begin. You want to get your hook, and let me get this at the side so it won't focus on it. You want to get your hook, and risk get a single yellow band or whatever color you're using. Wrap it around twice, making three loops. So I usually I count like placing it on like this as one. So one, two, three. As you can see, there's three loops, just like that. One of mine came, wait, oh yeah, there you go, sorry. So now we are going to get a single band and place on the hook just like that. Hold it with your finger and take three cap bands and hook it over just like that. Now we're going to pull this in our loom, I mean not our loom, our hook and place the other side on. Now you want to pull your three bands out of the way just like that now we're going to be adding more getting a single band hooking this on your hook holding it taking it off of your hook and place it back onto your uh hook now i like it better because it kind of gets it a little bit of a formation so yeah, so now I'm maybe adding one more. Hook this one right there, taking this off of our hook and placing this back on, giving it, pulling it back. So I'm gonna show you how to do this five more times. So let's keep on going. You wanna take a band, hook this off of our hook. Take these two loops and pulling this off of our hook here and pulling this in, placing this back on our hook. I forgot to mention this, but you can also do this with your pencil, which is a cool part of your fingers. Well, yeah. So let's do this again, taking this in on our hook and taking it off and pushing this one in just like that now you're gonna place this on our hook taking this off placing it oops yeah placing it back on do the same thing again placing this pulling these two loops off and placing the brand new one on two more times placing a band in grabbing these two off of our hook just like that placing this in placing this one off of our loom just like that okay 
So now I will be going on my own. Finishing off my last few ones should be pretty simple. So just keep on going. So I just finished and it's a option that if you would want to add a, uh, if you want to make a slip knot or a, you know, or if you want to make a, just place this clip, clip this on. But for those of you who want to make a slip knot, it's just, there's two on your hook. Just take this farthest one from this part and pull it. It's, okay. It's pretty easy, actually. Just take that off of your hook to grab this side. So, no, just that. So now you want to clip this on to your clip. And then you have your single chain bracelet. As usual, make sure you stretch it out a little bit just to get it the size that you want in to make it great. So, I'll see you guys on my next video. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Oopsie. And comment down below what you want me to do next. And I'll see you guys later.